Since we've all seen this before, I'm going to quickly get us through the vault so we can get out into the wasteland. If you haven't seen the introduction, I'll leave a link to Season 1 in the description and in the info button at the top right of the video. Hey, I fixed that mobile on his crib the other day. Why don't you give it a spin? Followed by flashes, blinding flashes, sounds of explosions. We need to get to the vault. Now! I've got so up first is the custom INI file. The first change is for myself. It removes the introduction movie that plays at the start of the game. This way I can get right to the menu and get into the game. I have increased the grids from 5 to 7, which will allow us to see a bit farther with better detail. I'm a little worried about our frame rate once we get into the city, but if we run into problems I'll course correct to fix that. For the workshop, I've added an autosave, so if we get a crash while building, hopefully we won't lose much. Also, I have it set so that if you have the materials to build one of an item, you can build an infinite amount of that item. I really want to get creative, so hopefully that will help out. So while we're traveling, I'll be using the third person camera more often and I wanted to allow the camera to fall back a nice distance from our character. I've removed the basic depth of field effect, but this still allows the blurry effect when you're in a dialogue or at a workbench. I just didn't like looking down iron sights and seeing a fuzzy mess. I think a field of vision of 75 doesn't feel right to me, especially on a 16x9 screen, so I've bumped that up to 90 degrees. This power armor effect color is recommended by a mod I installed and I'll go over that once we get to the mods. And of course, I've set up the archive so the game will load our mods. What now? The pod will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. Just relax. Time for a whole new life. Some of the mods recommend they not be installed until we've left the vault. I have decided to not install any mods at this point. I'm going to loot everything from Vault 111. Once we exit, we will get the game started in earnest with all the modding goodness installed. As we loot, however, I'll do a quick rundown of the mods I've selected for this season. The first and most notable mod is a new user interface, specifically Def UI, which allows us to customize every part of the main heads-up display. I went ahead and took the time to build my own HUD so it's as minimal as possible while still providing all the info we need. I've even added active effects and blended it to fit nicely with our new HUD. We now have the full dialogue interface so we can see exactly what our character will say instead of just a two-word snippet. Even though I don't really care for Power Armor much, I also picked up Power Armor Hollow HUD because it removes the background of the Power Armor HUD and nicely lines up the gauges. And to make it look pretty, new Power Armor HUD gauges was added. The next big thing you'll notice it's now springtime. Fallout 4 Seasons Spring, to be exact. I've installed all the recommended options that go along with it as well, including more grass, additional shrubs, and changing the fallen leaves into spring flowers. And I've paired that with clean water of the Commonwealth, which gives the water a beautiful tropical feel and makes it so you can see fairly deep into the water itself. We've gotten rid of the standard Pip-Boy and have upgraded to the Pip-Pad, plus an upgraded Pip-Boy flashlight that has shadows and is a little less bright. I feel that when indoors, the light was just too bright, but outdoors it wasn't bright enough. So I decided to make the indoor light better and we'll deal with outdoor darkness by sleeping until daybreak. 
We've also got Valdesil's item sorting to keep everything organized. It even has icons for our items. And because I want to see everything this season, we've got Cartographer's Map Markers, which will add hundreds of new markers to the map. These are things that Bethesda put in, on, and around the Commonwealth, but for whatever reasons decided not to include a map marker for. So we'll know where everything is. Since we're going to have more map markers, I also grabbed its recommended companion mod, Small Map Markers. This should be very helpful in the city, which can get pretty clustered with markers. For the workshop, we've got Wasteland Workshop Evolved. It will add more snap points to items, as well as adding in a few items that are already in the game but previously could not be built. It will also fix some of the lights in the workshop to better fit the light fixture design and cast shadows. As a bonus, we can now put actual glass into the concrete window-styled walls where glass should have obviously been from the start. Because it's completely ridiculous that people have been living in places like Diamond City for years and nobody has bothered to pick up a broom, we've got Immersive Diamond City and Immersive Commonwealth Overhaul, which aims to make lived-in areas a bit more clean, as if people actually lived there. Also, for those pesky smoke-filled indoors, there's fog out, so we can see clearly. Finally, we have Game Configuration Menu, so we can speed up terminal displays to be nearly instant instead of taking an hour to display. That might be a slight exaggeration. Slight. And last, but certainly not least, if you saw Season 1, you know my feelings on how stupid the name Dogmeat is. So, for this season, he will be known as Kenobi, thanks to Rename Dogmeat. Oh, I almost forgot. Unlimited Companion Framework so we can have Doggo and a human companion at the same time. P.S. Finally, finally, we have the unofficial Fallout 4 patch. And I wasn't going to add any weapons or armor. However, I couldn't pass up Factor Module Rifle. Also, also, don't get out your pitchforks. Even though not all the mod screenshots show it, I did go back to the Nexus while compiling the mod links and I endorsed all of the mods I'm using. Here we are in Season 2. Now, I'm not quite ready for survival mode and having to manage sleep and food and water and diseases. Not to mention you can't save your game unless you're at a bed. However, we are only one step down on very hard difficulty. Which means enemies do twice as much damage to us, but we only do half as much to them. I think in the beginning this won't be noticeable, but as we level up it will get exponentially more difficult. For this season, we're going to do everything. All the quests, clear all the locations, do some settlement building. I just want to have fun this season, so we're going to get every perk. And we're going to max out our special. So let's do that before we get too far into the game. So I'm going to just add perk points to our game. Um, in order to fill out the special, we need 42 perk points. So if I'm not mistaken, this is, this is um, I read this on a 
website. Yes. So now we see our pit pad, which is very nice. And we are going to now max out all of this stuff. Okay, and I want to do, I want to give us every perk. And I believe there's 10 and there's seven letters in special, which means we're going to need 70 perk points. So we're just going to do that. And we are going to get every perk. Okay, so now we have every single perk that the game has to offer. Now, I hope that this doesn't make us too overpowered. Uh, I think in the beginning it might seem like we're overpowered, but I think as we start leveling up, it's really going to uh, not matter so much because of the difference in doing half as much damage to bad guys and they are doing twice as much damage to us. Now another thing that I'm going to do this season is I'm going to try to not constantly look at the floor which means I'm going to go through boxes but I'm not gonna just pick up all the scrap that's laying around everywhere. Um, I just I find that a little annoying to be constantly staring at the floor. So, um, we're going to look for ammo, things like that. But other than that, I'm just going to leave the garbage. I'm just going to leave it alone. So, I love this springtime. This is more what I imagine the wasteland would look like because. I, granted, we don't. We've never had like a full-on nuclear winter, but the sites that have had nuclear accidents, like Chernobyl, um, things like that, they nature nature takes back the earth really quick. So I kind of feel like this is a better representation of what it would actually look like. So, let's go talk to Codsworth and see what he is up to this time around. And then we'll go get Kenobi. Talk to Codsworth. As I live and breathe! Oh, it's... it's really you! It's really me. Codsworth, you're still here. So other people could still be alive, too. Well, of course I'm still here. Surely you don't think a little radiation could deter the pride of General Atomics International. But you will seem the worse for wear. Best not let the hubby see you in that state, huh? Where is Sir, by the way? <laughs> Nice of you to bring that up. <laughs> they killed him. Oh, Mum, these things you're saying, these terrible things, I, I believe you need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this, this dire mood. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers, or, or perhaps charades. Oh, Sean does so love that game. <laughs> Is, is the lad uh, with you? Codsworth, listen to me carefully. Have you seen him? Have you seen Sean? Uh, why, uh, why, sir had him last, remember? Perhaps he's gone to the Parker residence to arrange a play date. I'm sure he'll be back with him momentarily. He's gone, God damn it! Someone took him. They stole my baby. It's worse than I thought. Mm hmm? You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. Doesn't matter how long it's been. 
I feel fine. A bit over 210, actually, Mum. Give or take a little for the Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. <laughs> that means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> Perhaps I can whip you up a snack. You must be famished. Codsworth, you're acting... a little weird. What's wrong? I... I... Uh, Mum, it's been just horrible. Two centuries with no one to talk to, no one to serve. Stop it. Get to the point. I'm afraid I don't know anything, Mum. The bombs came and all of you left in such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were, were dead. I, I did find this holotape. I believe Sir was going to present it to you as a, as a surprise. But then, well, everything happened. That's all that's left. That's not all that's left, Mum. There's, there's still you and me. Now, enough feeling sorry for myself. Shall we search the neighborhood together? Sir and young Sean may turn up yet. There's nothing left here. It's all gone. Well, if you wish to venture to parts unknown, I won't stop you. I shall guard the neighborhood in your absence. Oh, all right. So let's activate our workbench and let's get a bed put down. Workshop. And let's, uh, let's just scrap a couple things here so we have some room. Put down a bed. I'm not going to do, I'm not going to go crazy. I'm just going to get a bed. Uh, we need some cloth. All right, we're going to have to, we're going to have to scrap a few things. Actually, let's do, uh, I want to be able to just build. I don't want to have these kind of problems. So, I created a batch file. Let's see if I can remember what I named it. There we go. So now, we have plenty of everything, so we're not limited in our creativity. We can do what we please. Right here. For now, we'll sort it all out later. Now then, let's go get Kenobi, our faithful companion. Now I'm pretty sure that the uh, that he's still going to be dog until we um, actually. Until either Mama Murphy or Nick Valentine tells tells us that his name is Dogmeat, at which point it will switch to Kenobi. I'm pretty sure that's how that mod works. So let's go ahead and upgrade our pistol. All right, now we have a good weapon. <laughs> We're still going to be short on bullets, I believe, but... That's okay. We will do our standard trick of swapping out, uh, oh, swapping out ammo that we are not using for ammo that we want to use. Oh, ah, you little, oh, why am I so terrible? Come on. It's like the second bad thing that we came across. And I took radiation damage because of course I did. <laughs> it's all right. Now, wait a minute. I remember. Yeah, I remembered you. I remembered you. I think there was, wasn't there one that came out from around here? Yep, 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 yep. Oh, God! Come on! I, I can't afford to waste this ammo! <gasps> oh, why am I so terrible at that?
I really like this water. And the greenery. Springtime. It's nice. Let's see. Just trying to... What, what do I remember from the first playthrough? I remember that. And over here we have Doggo. Hi, boy. Although I think you're a girl, aren't you? In real life, I think this this German Shepherd was modeled after a girl German Shepherd. Hey, boy. What are you doing out here all by yourself? Um, you want to come with me? You want to come with me, pal? Okay, then. Let's stick together. Okay, so let's activate the... workshop. Nice. And... Yes, you are pointing at things. I know there are things everywhere. But I'm only, I'm only looting the big stuff. Actually, cigarettes are, those are a high value item for trade, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, caps. Definitely take caps. So this time, let's get into Concord. And we will talk with... Uh, Preston Garvey and his group. What is this on the compass? There's something right here on the compass. This must be one of the things that was added with that mod. I don't remember there being something. Oh, I do remember that we found this spot. Overlook. I still think it's weird that there's not a, there's not a rifle up here because this is the perfect spot. Oh, what is mole rat? Did you see that? Mole rat popped up on the... Oh! <sighs> Where's it at? Where's it at? <sighs> oh, there's another one. Shot in the butt! Oh, God, where is the... Huh. Okay, it's no it's no problem. They're still just They're just um they're just low little Oh god. Can I shoot it? Shoot it. Okay. <sighs> oh, here comes another one. Here comes another one. <sighs> yeah. Nice. I love all the the greenery. That's a that's an uh, that's an amazing mod. It's something that seems like so simple, but it makes a huge difference in the whole feel of the world, which is nice. Very very nice. Oh, bobby pin. Uh, can we open this? Yes. Got it. Can we actually sleep on this bed? You can. Hmm. Concord. Now what's over here? Did we go over here before? I don't remember seeing this spaceship. Oh, it's like a whole... Oh yeah, it's like a little community... Um, park. Oh, you can't, you can't get on there. Huh, neat. Can you get on the swing? No. Alright, I hear gunfire. And because it's a game, we're going to run towards the gunfire. <laughs> Instead of running away from the gunfire, which is what you should do. Is that a, there's a... We can go in right here. 
Just let Preston handle it. I'm pretty sure that the NPCs that matter, uh, like Preston, are essential. So they can't actually die. They can just get knocked down Don't and... I think I can pick this. Can't open that yet. Oh god, I didn't even see that guy! Good doggo, good doggo! Kenobi, good Kenobi. We're gonna call him, he's gonna be Kenobi when it finally happens. Gotta get used to calling him Kenobi. Old Ben Kenobi. Okay. I will, Preston. This time, regardless of how rude you are to me, I will actually help you and your band of... I don't know. I, I guess they're idiots because they're, you, you've managed to kill most of your group, and yet they still follow you for some reason, uh, which I, I don't really understand. But what do I know? I know nothing. Duct tape. Yes, we need the duct tape. Do we though? Do we? Maybe not anymore. All right, let's get in here and save the Minutemen. I hope you enjoyed Fallout 4 The Wasteland Awaits. It's interesting to see this same game from a whole new perspective. Mods are exactly why other games fall to the wayside, yet Bethesda games thrive for years after release. Do you play Fallout 4 with mods? Let me know your favorite mods in the comments down below. Remember to leave a like if you enjoyed this episode. It really helps the channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Dashpot out.